Video bites from youlearn.photography. Here's our principal, Simon Q. Walden. Hi, and on today's video bite, I'm going to be talking about uh, model releases. Um, and a model release doesn't just apply to models, it can also apply to, to your other kinds of sitters as well. Um, but I'm going to kind of stick with the theme about just talking about it in terms of models. So what does a model release do? Well, really it's just a confirmation from the model that you are going to use the images in some way or that you have the permission and the rights to use the images in some way. Now actually, it, it kind of it's a bit of a myth because you are the copyright owner. And broadly speaking, that does mean you have the rights to use the image how you like anyway. There are some caveats, particularly about commissioned work and uh, regular portrait work, things like that. But, but broadly speaking, as a copyright owner, you can do what you like with them. And, um, but it's a kind of a belt and braces, all right? And um, particularly if you think that images are going to lead to publication, then you should make sure you've got a proper release. And publication might be in a magazine or it might be for stock. Many um, uh, stock companies will insist that there is a model release um, before they'll accept it into stock. Um, if for whatever reason your model has refused to sign a release, um, you shouldn't try and cheat it. You know, if they have not agreed to release it, you can't publish. Um, not for legal reasons, but just that you don't want to get into that situation of a, of a model getting into arguments with you about stuff um, because you know that's your reputation at stake. Um, there are lots of ways to uh, get a release. Um, it could be a paper signed version, it could be an electronic version. If it's an electronic version, make sure that you can um, get it printed. Uh, and again, some stock companies won't take an electronic version. It will have to be a printed version. Now for me, uh, I do that with every kind of model shoot that I do. Um, uh, if you're paying the model for the shoot, it should not be a legal issue or whatever. Uh, as a, as a, uh, if, sh if the model is being paid for the work, that should be fine. If it's any kind of collaboration or TFP work, you definitely, definitely, definitely need a model release so you're both clear about what's going to happen to the pictures or what could happen to the pictures. Uh, and on my model release, I also let the model um, put in areas where the stuff can't be used. So for example, um, it might say, cannot be used for advertising of fur products, um, cannot be used for, oh, I don't know, in a pornographic context or something like that. Uh, you know, there might be ways that she doesn't want stuff to be used. Um, I also make it very clear that um, there's a very good chance that I will use the pictures in one of my books or one of the video bites or one of my other training vehicles as well. Uh, and, you know, your mileage will vary. There are loads of sort of standard model releases out on the web. Um, you know, go and pick one, and if you're not sure, pick one from a stock site because you know that's going to answer any queries that they've got. Um, and just get the model to sign it just as you go along. And just one last thing uh, it needs to be the model's real name, and they must be over 18, otherwise, it has no validity anyway. Um, so, yeah, so get a model release. Subscribe now for regular tips and updates. To find out more, go to youlearn.photography.